wanted to elevate the patient voice in a way that was meaningful. It was a landmark day for patients with cancer and those who serve them. In March, the Cancer Support Community released its study, Insight into Patient Access to Care in Cancer, aka the Access Project, to doctors, cancer survivors, and policymakers at Washington, D.C.'s Willard Hotel. While the in-depth survey revealed startling results, CSC President Linda House says it will help improve patient-centered affordable health care by raising awareness and creating solutions. Why was this something that needed to be done? There were media headlines, there were independent patient stories, but we wanted to really bring evidence to the table to say this is what's working, this isn't what's working well, and how can we bring solutions to the table that would really help improve the patient experience. Last October, nearly 500 patients responded to a survey about their access to care in cancer today. What doctor can I put off seeing because I don't have that $75 copay? It also interviewed several patients from CSC affiliates across the country. So it gave us a great snapshot into what patients who are covered on Medicare are experiencing, who have been shopping the exchanges, who might be covered by an employer-based insurance company. Gave us a really nice background of what they are experiencing. There was good news. Patients said the Affordable Care Act eliminated several barriers to coverage, like lifetime caps and pre-existing conditions. But surprisingly, certain standards of patient-centered care are still not being met. According to the study, a whopping 71% polled said they didn't have access to social and emotional support services that could help them the most. And what's even more startling about that is these patients haven't said, I don't want access to it. They said they either didn't know about it, 21% of them said that they, they were interested but didn't get a referral, and about 8% said that um, insurance didn't cover it. The simple fact is, is that no one should have to fight for their life and face bankruptcy. Not in this country. Lee Tomlinson took part in the Access Project. He was diagnosed with stage three throat cancer in 2012. He battled depression and was suicidal. But now he is using his cancer-free voice at events like these to improve the patient experience. You want to get across uh, a particular message. What, what is that message? Through all of my cancer care, through all of it, no one ever asked me how I was doing emotionally. Are you unhappy? Are you despairing? And the truth was, I was. Deeply, deeply, deeply. And no one noticed or nobody asked. Patients who report good communication with their providers have better quality of life, lower distress, and are more satisfied with their treatment. Unfortunately, the study found this isn't always the case. Patients don't feel that they have enough time with their doctor. Joanne Buzaglo of CSC's Research and Training Institute also says in about one out of five cases, the doctor and patient aren't talking about treatment pros and cons, and a large percentage didn't discuss costs. We see that they're not talking about the financial impact of care. About 30, only 34 percent of, of conversations are patients having conversations with their health care team about the financial impact. Another staggering number, almost 40% of patients are facing bankruptcy. To have a system that allows people to go into debt to that degree necessarily in order to be treated, and then to have to consider bankruptcy or severe financial consequences, is just not okay. For me, it's unconscionable. Now that the people have spoken, the CSC hopes policymakers on Capitol Hill will listen. Our hope is that when policymakers hear, for example, that 50% of patients are paying more out of pocket for health care today, but yet 20% of them feel that they're not getting the health care that they need, that they'll be willing to have a dialogue with us and other advocacy organizations to figure out why is that. One person who is listening is former FDA Commissioner Dr. Mark McClellan. Putting this all together from a patient perspective, you are helping make sure that the policies in Washington focus on what really matters the most for patients. I want to congratulate you for that. His work at the Washington, D.C. think tank Brookings Institute is devoted to promoting quality and value in patient-centered care. He praised the CSC study for prompting a call to action. The Access Project is really critical because because it's focused on access to patient-centered care. It's not just about access to coverage, it's about access to the right treatment for each patient at the right time at the lowest cost. And the kinds of questions that are addressed in the survey, that's the foundation for identifying gaps 
in patient-centered care and improving access to patient-centered care. I hope that really inspires you, um, as I know it does me, to go back and, and do this really important work because we have to. It may take time, but the Access Project is the first step in ensuring cancer patients get access to the comprehensive quality care they deserve. I know that healthcare professionals want to do what's right for patients and want to provide quality care. All of those positive forces exist and I think we're all working really hard to try to line them up in a way that's beneficial for patients.